So tell me more about yourself. So for starters, I cook. Okay, chef. My mama raised me right, so I clean. Okay. And I am extremely loyal, if I do say so myself. I appreciate the hmm. same, you know? <laughs> my friend group is not full of guys that just want, you know, and... Oh, oh no, you... <laughs> Focus right here, focus right here. I got what you need, I got what you need. Listen, um, uh, I like to travel, I'm well-traveled, I'm well-cultured. Um, listen. Uh, you know what, you, you're you're great, uh, you're so good. Um, but, um, I'll go. I would, see? Man, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all, to another one, another episode of Let's Talk with Jay vs. Jordan, man. Look, I need y'all to do me a favor. Y'all ready for it? Real simple. I appreciate y'all coming through here, but I need y'all to do something that's free, man. I need y'all to hit that like and that subscribe. Do that for your boy, man. We're trying to grow around here. Look, y'all, we got a few things to talk about today, so without further ado, let's get to the first. Okay, so rid of me this. How come some dudes act like it's a federal crime to give a girl a compliment, like... I got my hair done yesterday, so I called one of my male friends, and he literally brought up everything except my hair. And it's like, you see it, you, <laughs> you see it, you see it. Why you act like you don't? And he knew he, he was tripping. He was like, "Yeah, I know you want me to say something about your hair." Da da da. Mm -hmm. Yes, bozo. That's why I called you. Say something about my hair. It looks amazing. Uh, no, that that shit ain't in your hair. So yeah, on to the next one, y'all. You wanna know why a lot of y'all asses is probably still single? Why are they single? On a serious note, Real shit. because nothing ever satisfies you. Mm. There are a lot of nice gentlemen out here doing and executing what you supposedly claim that you want a man to do, True. but you're deeming it invalid because he's not giving Chris Brown or Trey Songs or Drake or all these people that you see on social media. Hey, let me, let me uh, translate that for you. You're not a thug. To use Chris Brown and Drake, you don't have you don't have that thug mentality to you. That's that's what she's really trying to say, y'all. I'm okay with having preferences, mm -hmm. but y'all keep crying wolf, and there are men literally out here doing it. That's okay. Why are you deeming him invalid? He's he's the nice guy, right? You're deeming him invalid because why? He doesn't make enough. He's not rough enough. He don't check you the way you want to get checked. That sounds diabolical. Realistically speaking, your demands aren't being met because you're not deeming anything worthy enough. So what do you want men to do if nothing's ever going to be enough? Like, and she kind of confused me because then she said the guy was meeting all the, the needs and then you went back to saying he's not meeting all the needs. But I get the gist of what she's trying to say, y'all. I get the gist of it. Like She's pretty much like these ladies are never happy. Like, and they'll always make an excuse for why that guy's not good enough, why we need to go to the next one. And honestly, a lot of these chicks gonna end up being single, man. Like, we're gonna be like China in a little while where they have women lining up, thousands of women lining up to compete for men because there's a men's shortage. And there's already a men's shortage in the United States, but hey, look, they keep doing this, it's gonna get worse. But uh, let's keep it moving, y'all, let's keep it moving. I didn't ask for the right to work. Not at all. No offense, but that was White Woman's Day. Didn't no black woman come and be like, oh, we want to work. Why would black women want to work? Black women have been working in this country for free for 450 years. I'm going to keep it real. We didn't want the right to work. We wanted to be a housewife like white women. Come on now. Oh, I want to work. I'm independent. Yeah, you go do that, bitch. We don't want to. Can we have like some kind of separate law? <laughs> hey, look, look, I give a, I give a props for being honest. But she being honest about how she really feels. A lot of ladies don't want to work, man. Honestly, they not built for that type of stuff. I say it over here all the time. Man, pressure is built for shoulders, not hips. And ladies got the hips, unfortunately. Y'all know y'all don't want to go out there and do the hard, dirty jobs. But honestly, black women have been working since they've been in this country, since the beginning of it. And she was 100% correct saying that a lot of these ladies picked up, black women, I'm saying, picked up a white woman's argument. White women wanted to go out there and work with their work like their husbands and have their own money because their husbands were treating them like shit. We didn't have that issue over here. But I'm going to leave y'all with a special one, y'all. I'm going to leave y'all with a special one. I hope y'all enjoy. Listen to what this lady said. 
out there that is on this whole men need to splurge on dinner dates train mm. okay you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself are you worth a three four five hundred dollar dinner date okay because let's be real a lot of you wouldn't even spend that kind of money on your own self for dinner <laughs> is she lying? okay because as we speak you are thawing out a frozen pizza Said you throwing out a frozen pizza, y'all. That girl said you throwing out a frozen pizza. And she ain't lying, man. I give her 100% props on that one. She is not lying. And we got a lot of ladies out here with unrealistic expectations. And they demand that somebody will do something, well, should do something for them, that they won't even do for themselves. It's crazy. And that's why a lot of people gonna end up single. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all write it down below. It's is your boy. Let's talk with JVJ. And I will catch you in the next one. As always, man. Peace.